They were just about to leave. We're having a tour for an archaeological park like 10 minutes away and then we're gonna go to Pompeii right after. So we're actually having like our tour guide come and pick us up and then she's gonna drive us in her car to all the locations. We've never actually done a tour like that so I wonder how that'll go. So we're pretty much not gonna have time for like a lunch or anything. Her dad went down to a supermarket like right below us. He's gonna try to find any food or snacks that we can take with us. I sort of in the mood for a pizza. This place actually gave us like a lot of like complimentary things. I told you last night they gave us the wine and then they also like have packaged croissants and then they have like free Italian coffee, like little cappuccino shots as well. The breakfast here is like really small. When we were with Lucia, she said that they just eat like a small like sweet in the morning, just like it's something we would have like for a dessert. And then their shot of espresso and they're set to go for the day. Living like an Italian. 10 minute countdown until our tour guide gets here. Dad's a trooper, he got us some pizza. That's for me and Aunt Patty. And he went out to get gluten-free stuff for Mama. Hello. We have a washer, like I told you last night, but we have to hang everything out here because we don't have a dryer. So Mom and Aunt Patty have been hanging stuff and moving stuff around all morning. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry. finished a tour of one villa and we're gonna go to another one and then after that we're gonna go to Pompeii and check that out for I think about three hours and then that's when we'll head back but look at the mountains behind me that's incredible these this is not Vesuvius Vesuvius is in the other direction I'll go to the other side to show you you could see the tip of Vesuvius from this side I'll point it out here.
Hey guys, we got to Pompeii. We stopped at a like a little bar to get some food and drinks real quick. I got a pizza and an espresso. Mom got a salad. And I don't know what they got. We should be going in within the next 10 minutes. Hey guys, we just got back to our hotel. Me and dad are running out to get cheese because we're gonna eat some of the boxed pasta that we have, finish that up. We'll probably pick up a couple more things from the supermarket. Me and dad got back from the supermarket. We got cheese, like cough drops from Patty. We got bread, fresh mozzarella. I guess we're just trying to, you know, recreate the scene with Lucia. <laughs> it's all stuck in our heads. And then we got lemoncello. It's like a lemon alcohol. I guess it's like really popular in like the Naples area, so. I'm really excited to try that because I've never tried it, but everybody keeps telling me that it's like really good. So I want to talk about like what we saw in Pompeii for a second. There are just a couple things that I want to mention. One of the things was the way that it was structured. Um, it was sort of like a mini New York. Uh, it was laid out like a grid. I think there were like 10 regions of Pompeii, and then within those regions, it was about 15 sections. So we only saw, I think, about half of Pompeii. There was a whole other side that we didn't get to see. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, it's like <laughs> kind of funny. We went into like a prostitute house and um, each of the rooms were labeled for a different position. So if you wanted to be in one position, you would go into that room. And if you wanted another position, you would go into another room. <laughs> it's just like interesting to see. And then towards the end of our tour, we saw like molds of people that were preserved like pretty much perfectly by the pyroclastic debris from Vesuvius. And something that I found like really interesting was the last eruption of Vesuvius was in the 1940s. But I don't know if you're able to tell, but I switched my camera from 1080p 60 fps to 4k 30 fps so it's supposed to be a little bit better quality the videos just may look a little bit choppier when i edit this video tonight i'll see which one i think is better and i might end up switching to 4k the only issue with that it takes up a lot more space and it'll take a little bit more time to upload and speaking of like camera and the quality i'm gonna try to switch from using the front facing camera i'm gonna use the the camera that's on the back of this. The only issue that I've had in the past with that is I'm not able to see where the camera's pointing. So sometimes you may see like half my face like this. <laughs> 
And if that's a big issue, I'll just switch back to this. And I'm just gonna switch to the front camera because uh, it's better quality and you'll be able to see the finer details of my magnificent face. I'll probably start doing that tomorrow in either 1080p or I'll just use the 4K. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided. Right now they're making pasta, so I'll show like the final product when it's all done and <laughs> you can compare it to Lucia if you want, but <laughs> it's not gonna be like that. All right, y'all, this food is done. It's ready to go. Aunt Patty declared herself Lucia for the day. <laughs> and this means mama is, is big old mama. So there we go. The opening of the mozzarella. Formaggio. Formaggio. Fresh mozzarella. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, I need water or something. Hey guys, we finished dinner and then we came down towards the beach. It's like a 10 minute walk from our Airbnb. Not really a beach. The beach is kind of dirty, but there's like a nice path along the beach. Tomorrow we're taking a boat and then we're stopping, I think, at the Amalfi Coast. And then we're going to spend pretty much all day and afternoon there and then I think the boat is taking us somewhere else too. There's like mountains surrounding the coast. You can't see it right now. I mean, you can see kind of like the top of them in the background, but that's it. Um, and then a lot of the clouds are covering it so you can't really see it. That's probably going to be it for tonight. See you tomorrow.